a bunch of food in here. So today we're going to a Taiwan temple here in Bangkok. Let's go check it out. Hope you guys had a good holiday. And uh, yeah, I got the new apartment, ready to rock and roll. We're gonna check out the temple. Let's go check it out. So we had to stop to this, uh, this noodle place that's near my new apartment. And they have a uh, pretty good looking Tom Yum soup. So we're gonna try it. So I got the Tom Yum Mu Gap, which is Mu Gap is crispy pork. Mu is pork, Gap is crispy. And they have these uh, wonton egg crisps. They're so good. I love putting this on Tom Yum. They have it for free. So you can put as much as you want. And they have sugar, pepper flakes, uh, vinegar and also pepper vinegar. Man, this looks, it's a, it's a big soup. These are so good, I love, I love having these. The chili flakes on top of it. This is my favorite vinegar. I don't know what, I don't know what's inside of it. Any of my Thai viewers, they know what this is. This is vinegar and some kind of green pepper. Green chili maybe, but I really like it. No, it's two kinds of peppers, green and red. All right, so I'm gonna try the soup base. Just, just as it is without the seasonings. Really good. It has a kind of a sour taste to it. Very flavorful though. It's pretty good. So now we're just waiting for the bus. It's gonna take around two hours. So we made it to Fo Guang Shan. That's the name of the temple. And it's a uh, Taiwanese. Yeah, looks pretty cool from the outside. Let's go check it out. All right, let's go check out this temple, Fo Guang Shan. different areas to see. Whoa, check this out. Look at this. This is insane. Look at the detail. Just really beautiful, really beautiful. So a long time ago, I would say like 10 years ago, just about 10 years ago, I went to Beijing, went to China for the first time. And this, this place reminds me of Beijing, the Temple of Heaven. Really beautiful. I love the designs. It's like Temple of Heaven. Look how cool this is. Massive. Look how cool these, these ceramic tiles are. Each one has a different design. I don't know if this was factory made or hand designed, but this, this looks incredible. Design is cool. 
So this guy, I've seen him around in so many places. I just never really knew the name. So I looked him up and his name is Budai. He lived in China. He was a Zen monk in China in the 10th century, uh, 1,600 years after the historical Buddha, the original Buddha. He said he was he was a Buddhist monk, was known as a good-hearted, happy, and content man of humorous personality, jolly nature, and eccentric lifestyle. He was nicknamed the Laughing Buddha because of his big smile and the happiness he was spreading around him. Temple. We took a grab to Wat Prasi Mahatat station, which is the subway station, the BTS. And we're gonna take this to the MRT to Hua uh, Lampong station. Because my friend has to leave, so she's checking what times we're gonna go. So she's checking what times she has to leave. So we gotta head to Mochit station. They gave us the BTS tickets for free. I'm not sure why. Here's something I never really see, the, the storage station outside of the MRT station. This over here is a Hua Long Hong station and I heard that it won't be open very long. There's still trains running through here but they're gonna make another station, the new station. We're inside the station. This, this looks really good. These little sweet pastries over here. So the reason why we came to the station is because my friend is going back to Chiang Mai. She's taking the train back and it runs 24 hours. So she's just checking to see what time is the best. So I got the Belgian bun, the coffee bun, and vanilla. Also, I got a drink, blueberry yogurt. All right, let's try it. Belgian bun. I thought there'd be stuff inside of it, more stuff. Yeah, it's pretty good. Is that coffee bun? Mm. It's like real coffee. It's good. The Kong Si Tamara. My friend wants to try some hot pot. I'm down to try some too. Let's go eat. Pretty cool to look at the history inside of a MRT station. Alright, we're gonna check out this hot pot place in Hoi Kwang. It's pretty close to my apartment, not too far away. So we made it to Sutisan Station. And this is where a uh, popular hot pot place is. A lot of Thai people, Thai vloggers, they cover this place. We're gonna go check it out. It looks pretty good. Oh uh, yeah, this is a really weird cafe. They like condom art. We're not gonna go in there today. Anybody want to stay at the Poseidon? So this is like Naughty Hotel. Adult Entertainment Massage Hotel. Hey, that's pretty cool. They got a pool place over here. This is the hot pot place. Suki Tinoi. So we got a bunch of stuff. We got the mushroom, we got the suki sauce, seafood sauce, the cheese wonton, chicken wonton, pork neck, bacon. And I'm down to grab, I'm starving. There's a lot of people here. This is the sauce, the, uh, the broth, we got the mala, and the regular. I love hot pot, really good. So for two people, for a drink, infinite drink refill, that's what the 78 baht is. And uh, 552 is the total for two people. Not bad, but also not cheap either. 
The robot's bringing our food. Look how much food we got. But this is just a small serving per. It looks it looks like it's a lot, but it's really not. Got four squids right here, four shrimps. Oh, eight shrimp. Oh, you got a lot of shrimp. It's a fish ball with cheese in it. Pretty good. It's a little strainer here so you can put your meat in here and also cheese so it doesn't slip out to the rest of the hot pot. Friend is making a meat bacon cheese bomb. I really like the mala, mala sauce. We got the red suki sauce and the seafood sauce. Now it's cooking. We got a bunch of food in here, a bunch of vegetables. Put the vegetables in first. Dipped my pork in here. Also put some uh, spicy peppers inside my sauce. Let's try it, let's try it. It's really good. Here's a spinach cheese wonton. Oh yeah, I got some cheese on there. Cheese and pork. I'm dipping in the sauce. Pork, it tastes really good. Wow, look how much shrimp my friend ate. We cleared this whole thing out. I still got this left. But man, we, we killed it. Washed it down with some butterfly pea. Cheers, guys. That was a really good buffet. It was worth the 200 baht. I'm ready to go back to my apartment, edit some videos, release video on YouTube. Thank you for watching guys. Appreciate it. See you guys in the next video. Peace.